plastic bottles make you nauseous. Using public transportation's awesome. Solar powered everything. No cell phone, just cups and strings. You make your t shirts out of grass. You kick the cars that guzzle gas. Understand. Use cartons, man. Be a Tetra Pak fan. Finding alternative farming systems to keep up with growing food demands in ways that reduce our environmental impact is a task that calls for some very innovative thinking. Do you know what the biggest challenge is for an agripreneur? Well, City Blooms does, and they're a company that develops and implements urban farming technologies to provide communities with easy and affordable access to nutritious, fresh produce. We talk with Nick Halmos, CEO of City Blooms, to hear his take on this innovative process. Uh, the inspiration for City Blooms grew out of a desire to provide sustainably grown and fresh produce to an expanding population. Well, over the next 40 years, global population is going to surpass 9 billion people, which means that we effectively have to start growing uh, and improving our food distribution and production by over 70%. In order to meet that expanded demand, we really think that uh, new technology has to be brought to bear to make our food system uh, more efficient. City Bloom's micro farms allow agripreneurs to grow fresh produce with improved efficiencies. These micro farms use water as the primary means to grow and deliver nutrients to plants, not to soil, a system that's called hydroponics. They're space efficient and use recirculating irrigation systems, which significantly increase the efficiency of water. Another innovative aspect is their use of mobile technology. In many ways, uh, City Blooms is the Internet of Things brought to the farming arena. So every one of our micro farms has a sensor network embedded in the micro farm that is constantly evaluating environmental conditions at the farm inside the cultivation space and sending that data to the cloud. So that enables us to develop a, what we call our farming control center, an intuitive user interface that allows the farmer to see what's going on in the farm and make controls over the environmental conditions at the farm in real time from any internet enabled device. And for this innovative company, they've recently cemented a new partnership, which serves as an example of just how their micro farms can be used for the benefit of companies and for consumers. We have established a micro farm at the Plantronics corporate headquarters, and that micro farm makes uh, bi-weekly deliveries of ultra fresh produce that's been grown the food doesn't travel more than a couple hundred yards from seed to consumption and it's delivered directly to a food service establishment that's operated by Bon Appetit Management. So right off the bat we're, we're improving our efficiency with water use, nutrient use and that's coming from the hydroponic technology and then by taking that technology and bringing it into the urban landscape we're reducing uh, such things as food miles and particularly food waste. That encapsulates an awful lot of ideas. By bringing the food production into the cities, we've been developing the motto, where we're measuring farm to fork in yards rather than miles. Thanks for checking out this week's innovation video sponsored by Tetra Pak. Subscribe to The Lemp Report to watch more videos just like this. Also, visit supermarketguru.com. Visit becartonsmart.com and you'll see how others are using cartons as a small step to big good.